How's it going everyone? This is Dr. Hefe playing more Crusader Kings 3, the Pandya Dynasty 7 Holy Cities achievement run. And in the last episode, we finally got our third holy city, Ujjaini. And now, we are very close. We are within striking distance of the last four. We just need a bit more fame. A lot more fame, actually. 2,500 more. It's... It's gonna be a while. Luckily, we have so many health boosts, so hopefully we are able to rack up a bunch of prestige in our leader's remaining time in order to do this subjugation war against now the Biswajit, the kingdom of Rajputana. There's a new ruler in here. It was it was named something else before. But I have noticed that one of our vassals is fighting some peasant revolts, and this is a great way to gain a lot of fame. So, let me offer to join his war. And this is something you can do. Normally as a ruler, you cannot join your vassals' wars unless they are against peasants and sometimes holy wars, but not always. I think most of the time holy wars though, you're able to join. So let's create a place for our armies to pop up. We'll just raise them here until we get our awesome war elephants. We'll let these peasants defeat this army, and then we'll roll on in to, to mop them up. Oh yeah. Tell me how much fame we got. 265. That's a big, big, big one. So that's kind of what I was looking to find, would be... um. Our vassals fighting peasants. This guy doesn't seem to be fighting peasants. They're just fighting each other. So we can't jump into that war there. Um, yeah, no, looks like no other peasants are happening. We also have our chaplain out here converting this to Vashnavism because it's a holy city. It really should be converted. And yeah, our religion's kind of spreading up here through what the. Oh, wow. This changed through what previously was uh, some Jain lands. So interesting, interesting. Uh, we've just constructed another building in our capital. I'm going to grab this one. <laughs> I built this one from plus 2% development growth. I could have upgraded the farms and fields for plus 5% development growth. We really are so big that I don't have to min-max the buildings in our capital holding, but... We were a bit smaller. That would be something smart to do, to look down those and figure out what would be best for us. So we're getting very close to being healthy. Healthy will be great for us. Um, we have a mystical communion I could have been getting since we got the wise man perk. Uh, I should have been doing this for quite a while. We have tons of piety that we can spend. Um, mostly because we can't do any holy wars. So let's do that. Dear Liege, some mystical exploration with... Ah, this guy. Over here. He really likes us now. Of course. Of course, my man. Now that you have adopted our faith, you can join me in some mystical communions. Um, The cannibal is asking us to join his feast. I will not go to your feast. I do not know what you are going to serve at your feast. And I kind of don't want to know what you're going to serve at your feast. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slowly back away from that one. Not gonna get into that. My chancellor has worked hard to convince neighboring realms about some peace treaty. Who's this peace treaty with? Adoni. I don't remember fighting anybody from Adoni. Oh, that was the kid who I gave, I gave them vassalage. Oh, we. We don't really care about that at all. We'd much rather fight the Sinda kingdom. Do you still have a truce with them? For three years we do. So part of me is thinking we should go to war with these guys. They do still hold one more of our de jour lands. So why not? This gives us another opportunity to gain some more fame in battle. So we're actually not even going to go try and siege these lands. We're going to go try and fight his army. So let's raise all here. Again, we wait until our men-at-arms pop out of nowhere, as they do. He 
He is running from us. Sir, we just want to fight you. Oh no, he's running over to here. That's fine. We'll come over there and fight him. My daughter's given birth to another son. Excellent, excellent. It's Varakuna Varman! And he's a genius! Man, if only we could play as this kid. And if our son goes off and gets himself killed somehow, which it looks like he's trying to... He became a flagellant. Oh my goodness. We may actually outlive our son. It is a very strong possibility. Flagellant gives you a pretty big negative to your health. All right, we're going to win this battle. Only 170 war score. I really, I feel like fighting peasants gives you a ridiculous amount of uh, fame for what you're doing, which is just basically beating up some poor peasants. Um, oh, this guy's running. Let's see if we can catch him. Maybe he's running to here. Let's go back that way. Oh. Can we catch him? He's, he's quick. He's a quick little man. Ah, uh, but we got him across the river. Shared prayer. Exiting the temple in Moyar. Me and my friend... Oh, is this my friend? Yeah, my friend. I would invest in the temple, but how can I know if that is even Lakshmi's will? Um, we will convince them that Lakshmi has given some signs, or we could ask for money. Now we'll gain some lifestyle, and they get a free, a free temple grounds. Where is Moyar? Over here. That's not my lands, but okay. Another temple. We're a holy man. <laughs> that is the name of the game that we are playing. Well, I mean, technically the name is Crusader Kings Three, but we are looking for the seven holy cities, so. Why not? Some more fame. Excellent, excellent. Always glad to get some more fame. This dude, we have swayed our brother a bunch. Again, don't really have any people who we really care to sway a lot. Uh, if there's any direct vassals who were not of our faith, we would want to find that out. But I think everybody... Oh no, this one isn't of our faith. We'll sway her. Yeah. Still haven't taken the war goal. It's gonna start giving us a negative. A negative points. Oh yeah, we gotta run down here and beat this guy up. Again. Currently is what we're doing in our war, just beating people up and Taking their fame. Trying to become more famous by beating some poor people up. I mean, not poor people. This dude's a king. He's making money. He can afford to get beaten up. Oh, he's on the run. Sir, you're in the jungle. My elephants are going to crush you. In fact, I want to see these elephants in action. We're going to slow the game. Well... First, let's get into battle. Yeah, let me slow this game down. Ooh, elephants. Fighting in favorable domain. But deals only... Oh, the pikemen. Oh, but we're still doing tons of damage. 60% of that is, what, about 180 damage? We are just squishing them. Get out of here, you pikemen. Bunch of jerks. Think your pikemen are gonna stop our war elephants? Oh yeah, look at this victory. We lose 118, they lost 700. All right, we're getting diminishing returns on the, the fame gain from this. Though it's bumped us up a lot, I think. Like a lot, a lot. Also, let's increase the speed again. Look at us, we are healthy. More health boosts. Our dude is feeling great. Our poor son, however, he is. He's going to not be doing well. He's a flagellant. 
But he did enjoy the raucous entertainment, so. What? How did this become theirs? Somebody must have died and someone else inherited some lands. We beat up their king and took him hostage? Can we ransom him? Only 17 gold? Alright, fine. We'll, we'll just take him. We beat him up. We took 69 more fame. He has no more soldiers. We'll end the war. Disband our army. Who, did, who ended up getting this land? This person. Some duke. Good job. We gained a favor hook on somebody. It wasn't this guy. This guy. This duke. Bunch of random people have shown up. Can I can I mess with your title? No, because you're not even my primary person. We don't really even care about this guy. We learned about somebody's secret. We could blackmail them. Eh. That's so, that's so beneath an emperor to just blackmail random people. Apparently we finished building some farmsteads. Uh, this guy is inviting us to a feast over at Vatapi. I trust this guy. I trust him a little bit more than my cannibal friend. This is going to give us a lot more taxes. We're going to be loaded up. Somebody has a claim on us now. Does Govindaraja have no shame? He's in frickin' jail. What's he think he's gonna do? Someone's accused my nephew. As if lust is an unnatural affliction, our lustful emperor has very little cares about these things. We have a conversation partner. No, no, no. Let's just have the interesting conversations. We're having lots of interesting conversations. But please... Please keep it cool, man. Keep it cool. Our amazing wife is also doing well. This hail trait. A promise is a promise. I'll do anything you ask of me, anything at all. I can smell the alcohol on her breath, but the promise has been noted by every guest present. This is my niece? We could get a hook on her? I mean, it's all good. You're just a little drunk. It's fine. Somebody, okay, we're leaving. You are something special, Varakuna, Varakuna Varman. Aparasita tells me. Kanapa Rasiar and Varakuna Varman nod their heads in agreement. Hell yeah. Everybody, everybody loves me. They love me. I'm a great guy. I'm a, I'm a wonderful dude. Farewell, my nephew. That was a fun time. Okay, not really sure what we have coming up next, except for trying to find rebels, trying to find some rebellions, going on hunts. Uh-oh. Oh no. Do we dare get... How is this person my vassal? We're going to ask her to help us. I mean, I don't know what you're going to get from me with your weak hook, but we are not going to take the 9% chance to die. That would be super unfortunate. We are getting very, very close. Very, very close to getting this holy site of Mathura. Once we do our subjugation war. And then we have to come up here into Tomara. Mararaj. And are we close to getting a new legacy? Architected ancestry. 1750. Congenital trait. I always choose uh, quick. I think intelligence is super strong for your dynasty. host a feast. Let's send that out. Welcome friends. Let's see, would they accept conversion? Not yet, but maybe after our feast. 
Yes, I have done a great job, haven't I? More prestige for us. My poor wife. She still likes us, though. Kind of. Sort of. I just do what feels right. People are saying I'm a special dude. Of course I am. A special dude who likes to party. But I am celibate. Ladies, I am celibate. Please stop trying to sleep with me. I already have this lover. She's all the way... Where even is she? In Kutch? Oh, she's over here. I love her. She's like half a continent away from me. Um, but yes. Now, she should accept conversion. Blessed be Vishnu. Let's see, is there any other direct vassals who are not of our religion? I don't think so. Done a good job converting everybody. With our silver tongue. My brother created a cadet branch, so now we're going to get less prestige. Thanks, brother. Really happy about that one. Oh, she used her weak hook to become our steward. I should have killed that boar myself. Oh well, such is life. Ten years to increase this. Is it? Is it even going up? Development. Oh yeah, 5.5. Okay, I guess it takes a long time. Um, we need to find someone else to start swaying. What? Oh wait, what? Sir, what? Uh, excuse me? Excuse me, sir? You think you can take this land? For yourself? <laughs> and no. We're gonna give it to this guy. For his claims. We don't care. We don't care one bit. The holy lands must remain in our control. Like, look at this. Look at what it does to our religion. The holy site is no longer ours. Plus, you know, it's an excuse to get into another war. Uh, let's come over here. Siege this up right away. Yeah. You know, come over here. Come fight us. We're ready for you. Split the army. Apparently when you're on top of a fort, pressing the F button doesn't work. When you're not on top of the fort, let's make sure... Okay, good. Make sure we left the mangonels there. Something's happening. Titles. Usurpation. Blah, blah, blah. Calling allies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have children, right? It's not male only. It is male only. Who's it going to? Some guy of Moft. Oh no, we should not have. We should not. <laughs> it's gonna go out of his freaking lands. Sir, adopt a child. Oh man, this is foolishness. What? What are these factions? Peasant rabbles? Who are you? Why are you guys rising up? How did I even get this land? Who even are you people? <laughs> Why am I holding on to this land randomly? Uh-oh, they're upset about something. They're upset about something. They're gonna they're gonna have a little peasant war. That's fine, we can send uh an army over here to put them down. Supply limit's too low there. Okay. We'll move off. A new perk, whole of body, of course. More health is really the main thing. Although we get so many minuses, like minus stress, that we can really do anything. Anything. And we will not feel any negative effects. No more children of our dynasty. Our dynasty continues to grow. It's awesome. Yeah, we're still trying to find somebody. 
to uh, to like us. I don't know why. I thought this guy would have a son. He's still young. Oh, he has a new wife. Oh, he could still have a son. He could still have a son. Look at him. He's feeling fine. He's a devotee of Ganga. He'll be good. Some commoners are showing up. No, no, no. Again, we still need to find somebody new to sway. Probably one of these powerful vassals are upset. No, that guy loves me. This guy doesn't love me. We'll sway him. He could love me a little bit more. Can't believe it. She's a dishonorable quarreler. She's betrothed. When's her birthday? December? It could happen. My son was released from prison? What were you doing in prison, son? There is something, there is like a, a min-max part of me that wants to kind of send this child of mine off to die. But, no, we'll embrace him for who he is. Okay. They sent the whole army here, apparently. Oh, we can actually probably fight them with this, just this guy. We'll have a, a negative just got off the boat effect. Oh, but it's going away already. Oh, we'll go fight him. Let's go beat him up. Oh, a close battle. Will our troops come in time? Oh, get in there. To reinforce? Oh, yes, we did. My spouse is up to the task. Who needs some guidance? This guy could. Then we could convert the lands a bit quicker. Although studying stewardship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Studying stewardship for sure. Alright, let's go send our war elephants back. Back over to here. Why does it always do this? I always click the wrong one. You guys go here. You other 5,000, like, come chill out back here. How much fame do we gain? 328. Yes, we are getting close. Close to being able to declare the subjugation war. Alright, peasants. You're discontent? Come on. Go for it. I know you want to. I know you want to. Here's the peasants. No, 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 no. Come on. Rally the troops. And that gave us fame, too. Excellent. So be it. Captured some hostage. Some, one of my counselors died. Oh, of old age. Was it? Is that guy my friend? I don't think so. Alright, you know what? You can have the position. Like, you're not that great, but if it makes you happy. I don't think anybody's trying to murder us now. We've been around a long time. We're getting the long reign bonus. It's going to be really good. Okay, I think we need to go... We need to send somebody on the offensive. We need to go siege some lands. But if we siege these lands, does it help us? I don't think so, actually. This is not part of the uh, defender in the war. Just kind of need a... Wait, wait, wait. Defender controls war target. What do you mean? Didn't we do a holy war for this? What did we do? We're doing a holy war for this? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. Gracious. What did we do? All right, can we can we just get a white piece actually? <laughs> oh, that was silly. Okay, disband disband the army. Okay, we got to we got a truce with them. For five years. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I should have seen what we were doing. Oh well. 
Sometimes you make a mistake. <laughs> well, good thing we grabbed this. Our legacy is not completely screwed up yet. We may be the emperor who has three holy cities. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Five years, it's fine. We're definitely going to live to 70 for sure with all of these bonuses. But yeah, that was... <laughs> That was a good lesson in making sure that what, like, what the heck was that? I thought, oh my goodness, that was silly. But yeah, good lesson in making sure that before you click, like, declare war, that you're still targeting the right target. Because, yeah, what would be the point of giving these lands to this guy who may not even be our vassal? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. We're very close to declaring our subjugation war. So we can look forward to that in the next episode. If you enjoyed the episode, you can subscribe for more Crusader Kings 3 content. And until next time, do remember, as always, to take care of yourself. Looks like we'll be gaining some land over here. Alright, that's cool. That's cool.